Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Boom Me Online channel. In today's video, I will teach you how to download the Skyrim Unbound Alternate Start for Skyrim Special Edition instead of the original Skyrim. We'll be using the Nexus Mod Manager instead of manually downloading it, because in the last video I taught you how to manually install, download and install a Skyrim mod. The uh, last video also does apply for Skyrim Special Edition, but in today's video I'll be mixing a few things up and doing it. Uh, I'll be doing this with a mod manager. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description which will take you to this Vortex page. Vortex is the name of the mod manager as I mentioned uh, before. And before you do anything you want to make sure that you have a Nexus Mods account, which I do, it's being my mom one. Just create an account, it's very easy and very simple. Once you've done that you want to click, you want to go to the link in the description and it'll take you to the Vortex page. From here you want to click download the latest version. If you want to install it to your C drive normally, you could just download it here by going to this main file Vortex installer. But if you want to download it to a separate drive, like I am, you'll you will want to click the Vortex Custom Insta Insta Installation Location uh, installer. Click Manual Download, and then click Slow Download unless you have Premium. Obviously, I'm not going to pay for Premium because you know I, I like two megabytes per second, and that's that's average, I guess. But yeah, uh, slow down, you want to click it, and it should start downloading. Once it's finished downloading, you want to click Ctrl and J, and it'll take you to your downloads. From here, you want to click on the download, and you want to click Yes when it asks you if you if it wants to make changes to your device. Well, obviously, we obviously want to make changes to our device, because it's going to be installing something to our device. So I'm going to change the destination folder. If you've installed it, if you've installed the uh, version that doesn't allow you to change your install location, you won't get this. But since I installed that version, I'm going to get this. So I'm going to browse. I'm going to blow most of this because, you know, uh, private stuff. Make a new folder. Call it Vortex. Click OK. And then click Install. Alright, I'll see you when it's done installing. Alright, so once the installation is finished, it should automatically open up. From here, you want to go to Login or Register. You want to click on it, and it should open up in your browser. From here, you want to click Authorize, and it should automatically tap back into Vortex and log you in. From here, you want to go over to Games, and you want to add a Skyrim Special Edition so we can manage it. Type in Skyrim, and Skyrim Special Edition should pop up. From here, you want to click Manage, And I should start preparing the game for modding. Yep. Well, I think I have it hidden for some reason. Yep. Incorrect that. Anyway, so now that we've got the Skyrim Special Edition in our Manage tab, we want to we want to uh, f actually set what we want to download our mods and where we want to stage our mods. So we want to go over to settings, and then we want to go over to mods. From here, uh, this will be the default by uh, default. I, I would recommend just clicking Suggest and it will automatically create a folder with the game name. From here we want to go over to Download. This is where the download folder will be. I would recommend putting this on your same D drive. So you want to go here. I'm going to go over to my D drive. I'm going to right click, click New. Uh, and it should automatically be there actually. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I am messing up a lot of things up today. Oh. Type in Vortex, yep. There should be a one that says Vortex, and you want to type in Vortex Downloads. Right, sorry, create a new folder, call it something like Vortex Downloads. I would recommend keeping the Mods folder and the Downloads folder on the exact same drive. That just makes everything easier. So Vortex Download, I already have one, so I'm going to delete that new folder. You want to select it and it should automatically... Right, there we are, yep. So Vortex down, it's done. Now we want to download a mod, so go back to your browser and then go to this mod. In the last video, I told you how to download Skyrim Unbound for normal Skyrim. This is the SE version, Special Edition version. I don't know any, I don't really know any good mods for Skyrim Special Edition. So this is why I'm just redoing this one, because, you know, it's a good mod. So, what you want to do is you want to go down to Files, and you want to go down to Mod Manager Download, and it should automate. And once you've clicked that, you want to click Slow Download. 
It will start in five seconds. And so your download is started. From there, go back to Vortex and then go to Downloads. It should automatically start downloading. When it's finished, you want to click Install. This mod does not require the script extender, so you don't need to worry about that. Here, go to Plugins, and sometimes the oh, yep, you want to click Enable once it's installed. Go to Mods and make sure it's enabled. From there, go over to Plugins and make sure that's enabled. From there, you want to launch Sky Special Edition, and then you want to create a new game. And I'll see you when I'm there. All right, now that we're in the game, we want to go to New. Click new. And if it, everything is done correctly, you'll say that mods are currently loaded. No achievements are disabled. Just click enter. And it should start loading. I'll see you when it's loaded. Alright, so once it's fully loaded, it should say says the game studios presents. And it should say I'll scroll five, obviously, but blah blah blah. You get you get the intro. But it won't be the normal riding on a cart into Helgen uh, intro. It will start off with a camera above Helgen and it'll tell you about yep, right here. Skyrim Unbound. If you set everything up correctly, it should ask you about Skyrim Unbound. Okay, you want to click Customize, or Random, whatever you want. Customize, Armor, uh, why not Hooded, uh, Random Weapon, No Magic, Random, Spawn in a Town. And you start, and you should start loading into a town. If everything is done correctly, the mod should be loaded, and you, everything should work. So, yeah. I'm loading, I'm going to show you that it did spawn me in the correct location. Oh, why not? We've got to create a character first. I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to be a Khajiit. Why not? Body... Uh, presets... There we are, sure, why not? Alright. Alright, okay, so, oh, click done. Click OK. Name it something, I'm gonna name it tutorial. Click accept. And then it should load you into your area. Being on the PC specs, shouldn't take too, too long to load. I always say that. Anyway. Should take creep along the load and you should spawn in a town or wherever you set yourself to spawn into. Alright, here we go. We've spawned in a town. And yep. But the reason the mod is actually called Skyrim Unbound is because it automatically uh, completes the Skyrim Unbound, uh, the Unbound, a, a, what do you call it, quest. And it allows you to automatically spawn into a world with, you know, items. Uh, in whatever location you want, wherever you want, whatever you want to do. But uh, yep, yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.